Okay, guys, story time on how I literally almost shit myself at the beach. Okay, for a little bit of backstory, I literally shit, like, once a week, and it makes me literally so bloated I look six months pregnant. And I've always been this way, but I was at the beach, and I was feeling extremely insecure, and I wanted to look skinny for pictures. So, I begged my mom to buy us laxatives. Us being me and my sister, because we both literally could not shit. Mind you, I had never taken one before this, and I will never take one again. But I took it that day, because we got them in the morning time, and we didn't do anything for the rest of the day. So, I was like, okay, this is going to hit in a couple hours. I'm going to shit, and it's going to be fine. The whole day rolls by and nothing happens. So the next day rolls by and 50% of the day goes by and nothing happens. And it's starting to piss me off. So by this point, me and my sister were just sitting at the beach because we didn't have anything else to do that day. And we were just chilling and talking when all of a sudden, my stomach feels a little rumble. Mind you, we were on the beach. There was no bathroom. But luckily, there was a restaurant, a fancy ass italian restaurant very close to the beach so my half naked ass decides to run in the hot florida i believe weather it was like 80 degrees and the sand was hot and the concrete was hot so i booked it to this italian restaurant and i sat on the toilet and nothing happened but of course that's not the end of the story as soon as i go back to sit back on the beach it hits me for real. So I book it back and I genuinely, I didn't think I was going to make it. I thought I was going to shit myself in the middle of this Italian restaurant. I ended up with a burning asshole. Okay guys, I obviously left out some gruesome details, but that's it. I love y'all so much. Have an amazing day. Describing my makeup products using one word. Phenomenal. Clean. Delicious. Warm. Daily. Good jaw dropping i'll literally die for this product i know i said one word but i'm obsessed with the maybelline freaking mascara please sponsor me please cool hairspray that's two words i don't give a fuck decent amazing yummy expensive beautiful forever grave because i am rolling in my grave for this product pigment with an uppercase t jaw dropping Two words. I don't give a fuck. Look. Classic. Smooth. Sparkly. Shit. Poop. Eh. 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 I probably have more makeup. I just um, can't find any of it because it's probably all over my floor. Anyways, that's it. I love you so much. Have an amazing day. Shit that needs to be talked about more. And I don't want to hear a word about my skin right now. Blame this bitch. In honor of AAPI month, Asian hate needs to be talked about more. The difference in lifespans in the U.S. compared to other countries. Something's going on. The way, not everyone, but some bitches need a trigger warning on everything. How the fuck are you going to watch a mukbang video and then comment, Erm, this needs a trigger warning. Shut the fuck up. How are you going to scroll onto a video that says mukbang, you get triggered, and then you continue to take time of your day to comment? The FDA and the food regulations in America versus other countries. It all comes down to, we're all dying faster over here. The way so many people have died after talking about the government. Me next. The cost of living, which a lot of people do talk about, but I feel like we need to talk about it more for it to get through the thick ass skulls of the United States Illuminati shit. Okay guys, that's it. I love you so much. Have an amazing day. There are plenty of things I can probably talk your ear off about. My first thing I have been able to talk about for my whole life that I'm so strong about is pollution, any type of pollution. And I know that it's inevitable and me buying fast fashion and stuff like that is not helping it whatsoever. I, I know that. In fourth grade, I went to a competition. It was like elementary through high school and it was a technology fair and I built a website about pollution and I got third place. I started bawling my eyes out because I'm a sore loser, but... I did pretty damn good. You will never, ever, ever catch me throwing shit on the fucking grass. And when anyone I'm around does, I literally fully scream at them. How bad servers can be treated. I never really thought about it much before because I was never a server. But now that I am a server, I haven't been treated horribly yet. But I have heard some wild stories. The glamorization of disorders on this app is fucking disgusting. 
the very real effects that racism has on growing children. Because trust me, I have experienced plenty. The difference in the mindsets that every generation has. The effects on children with having one parent or bad parents or anything of the sort. The consequences you have to face by surrounding yourself with shitty people. Gun control, which I've talked about before, but I can literally go on and on and on and on. And okay, guys, that's it for now. I love y'all so much. Have an amazing day. I am fully convinced that some people forget that people on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram are normal human beings. People will be like, oh my god, I knew her in middle school and she was so mean to me. Yeah, no shit. I'm so human. I'm going to have beef with people and have disagreements with people. And it's always, she was so mean to me, not, I fucked her over. Come on. Anyways, I just had to get that off my chest because it pisses me off so bad. I haven't updated y'all on my life in a hot minute. I don't know what's been in the air recently, but I've been so tired, so exhausted, and so pissed off at everything. Someone will look at me and I'm automatically in a bad mood and I don't know why. Also cut my hair, obviously. And I cut it because it was dead. And I'm getting it dyed soon and it literally would have melted off. My hair was to the point where if you just grazed your hands through it, you would see all the dead ends just breaking off. Plus, my hair grows really fast, so I have no issue cutting it, and I don't really care what my hair looks like, and I kind of like it short. If y'all could be friends with, like, anyone in the whole entire world, who do you think it would be? Because, honestly, I would love to meet Tana Mojo. And why is there so much powder? I've literally, I've been so exhausted. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I haven't been getting my naps. I used to nap every single day for, like, five hours, and it was the best thing like it was the part of my day that I looked forward to the most and I haven't been able to nap more because I've been working more and it's really getting to me like, I was on my room cleaning grind so, like I kept my room clean for like months straight and that was one of my new year's resolutions because I'm a messy bitch like my room gets so messy within a day like look at this shit and my cat tofu has been absolutely wild recently I don't know what's in the air for him but he's been crazy and I'm not loving it because he's been pissing me off, but I love him because he's my baby. And okay, guys, here's the finished look. I love you so much. Have an amazing day. I have a lot of people ask me, like, Emma, how do I cut off this fake friend? Like, she's a bitch, she's a cunt, like, I can't be friends with her. Or, like, I don't know how to break up with my boyfriend, stuff like that. So let me give y'all some tips. There's obviously a lot of situations that could, like, go along with this. But for one, if you start to notice that your friends are dragging you down and literally leeching off of you to the point where you have no fucking energy or aspirations for shit, you need to cut them off. I know it's hard. I know some people like can't be mean and don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. But would you rather hurt your future or someone's feelings for a couple days? Because trust me, if someone is treating you badly, that's not a friend and they will get over it and you will get over it too. And when it comes to people that drag you down and aren't good for you, it's hard to just cut it off. Like a lot of people don't know how to just end something. I've always been super quick to just cut someone off, like block, done. For me, the healthiest way for me to get over something is for me to completely cut out of my life. Don't talk about it. Don't think about it. Don't look at them. Don't stalk them. Don't look at what they're posting. Don't look at what they're reposting. Don't look at shit like that. You can always send a paragraph or something, call them, talk to them in, the, in person, and just explain to them, like, I'm not happy with you. You're not good for me. I can't put myself through this. I have to put myself first. But you can also just start being a little dry, don't talk to them as much. Just slowly stop communication until they eventually get the hint. I'm not done with my makeup, but I'm pretty much done with this video. It's already long enough as it is. I'm not the best at advice on stuff like this because, like I said, I'm very quick to just block someone. Like, it's there for a reason and it's okay to block someone. But anyways, guys, I love you so much. Have an amazing day.